And there's, you know, there's a kind of a calming feeling I always tell folks when I think of the Holocaust and the tragedy of the Holocaust, the name of trying to create a safe haven for Jews post the Holocaust, post the tragedy in her. And I love the fact that it was my ancestors that provided that, right? Wrong. Here we are once again with a Democrat saying something stupid and the media flipping it around and making the story about how Republicans are pouncing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to this media tactic of covering for Democrats by flipping the story around and reframing it as Republicans attacking minority Democrats. In this case, freshman Democrat Rashida Tlaib was giving a podcast interview where she made the claim that she was, quote, comforted by the fact that Palestinians provided aid and comfort to Jews after World War II. Unfortunately for her, that's not at all what happened. Palestinian leader at the time, Grand Mufti Al Husseini, actually worked to recruit Muslims to fight for the Nazis. And during that time, the Palestinians fought a three-year rebellion against the British specifically to keep the Jews out. Think about that for a second. While the Jews were fleeing Europe and trying to find a safe haven, the Palestinians were actively hunting them down. After the war, Husseini fled Germany and settled in Cairo, where he began the first Arab war against Israel. And in fact, the Palestinians still indoctrinate their population with Nazi-esque propaganda, and they still fly the Nazi swastika flag to this day. So of course, people began calling out to leave for her false claims. Instantly, Democrats circled the wagons and began claiming that any criticism of Tlaib for what she said was racist. Tlaib herself instantly began playing the victim because she knew that the media would have her back. And have her back they did. There's literally zero difference between the DNC's defense of Tlaib and MSNBC's defense of Tlaib. And then you have the network media, ABC, CBS, and NBC, which have completely ignored this story. Sure, you might find an internet story about it, but they've completely neglected to cover it on the air. To my complete and utter astonishment, CNN actually took her to task for spewing historical fiction, saying, quote, yes, she said that Palestinians lost land in the creation of Israel, but she ignored the fact that Palestinian leaders at the time allied themselves with Hitler, and the total war was how the Arab world reacted to the Declaration of Israel Independence. However, MSNBC's version of the cannibal from the movie Sin City framed GOP's criticism of Tlaib's revisionist history as, quote, an attack done in, quote, bad faith. This time, it's for expressing the personal meaning she derives from her ancestors' land in what is now Israel, being used to create a safe haven for Jews after the horrors of the Holocaust. Can you believe this hack seriously just spun Tlaib's mangled, incorrect version of history as merely her personal feelings? You hear this a lot on the left when they're spouting bullshit and you call them on it. Suddenly it becomes their truth and whatever data or history that you can point to will just be dismissed as racist or a product of the patriarchy. That sentiment has been twisted in, twisted in truly odious ways. <laughs> Nothing was twisted. She was criticized for spouting complete bullshit, and now this Democrat Party hack is trying to clean up the mess. Not only is he defending an extremist, but he then goes on to attack women as disgusting and vile for simply calling out Tlaib's false statements. Don't you just love how they give themselves free reign to criticize and attack any woman who says something that they don't like, but if Trump criticizes a woman, suddenly it's an attack on all women. This is all part of a pretty transparent strategy of shutting down criticism of Democrats and ultimately ridding themselves of all political opposition her and i have um the strength to endure any of the mischaracterization or efforts to distort um and and vilify uh and mischaracterize our our message <laughs> this is just stupid literally the only distortion and mischaracterization that we're dealing with here is the one that's coming from talib and her defenders in the democrat party and the media the Palestinians did not help Jews during World War II. They allied with the Nazis and actively helped to kill Jews. What Tlaib said is a complete lie and it should be called out. Anyone trying to silence that criticism should be looked at as a threat, especially when those same people spend every waking moment trying to destroy their political opposition. Just like they're censoring conservatives and all political opposition on all the major platforms, just like they're using violence to silence conservatives on university campuses, just like Democrats in the media are now attacking their only opposition in the media, Fox News. Elizabeth Warren is used to being coddled and protected in the media. So when she gets some tough questions, she sees it as hate. She said so in a long-winded tweet rant against Fox saying, quote, 
Fox News is a hate for profit racket that gives the megaphone to racists and conspiracists. It's designed to turn us against each other, risking life and death consequences to provide cover for the corruption that's rotting our government and hollowing out our middle class. I could say the exact same thing about the rest of the media. They regularly attack people for being white and they use the word almost as if it's derogatory. They run conspiracy theories for years as legit news stories in an attempt to undo democratic elections. They pit the country against each other liberals versus conservatives they incite violence against conservatives that has manifested and the gop baseball game shooting attacks on conservatives at universities uh trump supporters and then they run cover for corruption as long as that corruption is in service of the dnc agenda either these people really lack any semblance of self-awareness or they really are just evil people that want to rid this country of all dissent and all political opposition either way we need to be on guard and you can help guard against this attack on free speech by liking and sharing this video and while you're at it go ahead and hit that bell icon so you can be alerted when i put up new content apparently people aren't seeing that in their subscription feed if you want to help support this channel please consider subscribing to me on patreon or just sending me a tip on paypal Without monetization, it's a lot harder to dedicate the time needed to produce these videos. Thank you for your consideration.